you can sell a few good dogs and make a lot of money quick. But not all of James's dogs are ready to race. And right now, he wants to trim the fat. This industry is an abomination. I am a, a competitive person. I think it's like we're being real hard on it. Exhausted, dehydrated dogs forced to run hundreds they of They may miles. be living amongst other dogs. That's not a community, it's a prison. And there are other mushers who are elite mushers and who, who do great, but the dogs are not their teammates. They're more like fuel or ammunition to be expended in pursuit of the victory. To determine which dogs are not performing well and need to be sold, he's putting them through a dog biathlon. Dogs get shot, there are still dogs in the freezer. You're only as fast as your slowest dog. I, I need to win. Uh, Lance's best racing dog. <laughs> That's his name, but his real name is Larry. Dog feedings and about neglect and puppies dying. And the hard reality is there's just so many issues with this dog mushing industry that aren't really getting shared. Dogs are terrible, I mean, a horror story. I wanted him to get greased. I saw him loving burying him, so that's why I buried him. It just, it fails. It fails to look after the dogs. <laughs>